Real life street stars. Oh, Hold on. Oh, we, 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 we got some ladies in these motherfuckers. We got some ladies in these motherfuckers. And they looking righteous yeah. right now. They looking righteous, man. Man, let's go and do it like this, man. For those that are deaf, done stupid, they've been living on the rock. Some people in the city may know you, some people may not, but I want y'all to introduce yourselves. Tell them where y'all from. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Chosen. I'm from North Dallas. You know what I'm talking about? Period. <laughs> It's Sean, and I'm from the Greedy Grove. Greedy. Like, yeah. Hey, y'all, it's Trouble, and I'm from North Dallas. Down the outside, the nutty. Man, first and foremost, welcome to the set. Uh, welcome to real life, man. And uh, we definitely want to start off by just trying to understand y'all ladies are here for a specific reason. We're going to go all the way in there. But for those that may not know y'all individually, I just want to go down. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do for a living, uh, where people may know you from, if they don't know you, how you got your claim to fame. Uh, let's start with uh, Chosen. Let's go with it. Okay, y'all. My name's Chosen, of course. Um, people know me because I'm just been popping all my life. Um, <laughs> a little that's, flex, slight flex. That's just on. what it is. I'm an exotic dancer. Where, where, where can I see you? At DGs. Oh shit. Okay, DG. Shout mm -hmm. out. Dallas gentlemen. How of important course. is DGs to the city, man, of Dallas? I'm just kidding. You said what? How important is DGs to the city? Oh, it's real important. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, Everybody you, have like come a, there. you have like a bravado when you work there. Like, nigga, I work at DGs, man. This is the oldest, yeah. the littest motherfucker. Yeah, it's real live and it's a cool vibe. It don't be too much going on. Yeah. You know. Everybody likes to go where it's not too much drama. So DGs is where it's at. Come see me. They're 24 7. And um yeah, that's it. Hey. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we see where this is going. Hey, y'all, once again, it's your girl, Sean. Y'all know me as Lyric. Some people know me as Sean. Majority, I'm one of the uh, influencers on Instagram. I have like um, 28K on Instagram followers. Um, I have a shop. I've been a shop owner for nine years. Um, I'm a hairstylist for 10 years, and I have a boutique. I sell clothes. What's the name? Uh, Lyrics Hair Studio and Boutique. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Um, I have a son. He's five. Other than that, um, I'm just a bad bitch, so everybody <laughs> loves me. <laughs> That's just what it is. You know, um, I'm 26. Uh, I'm single, so if y'all looking for me, y'all know where to find me. Slide up in there. Um, and yeah, I'm that girl, so you know. Ask about me, Sean. What you gonna do for your 30,000 follower when you get that 30,000? Um, well, I'll be on TV by then, so they, oh. they'll see me. It's going to blow right past that shit. You know. It's going to blow right past that shit. We'll, 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 him. Yeah. we'll just see, you know, how they, how they overflow. Yeah. Trouble. Trouble. Biggest. Uh, how you get the name <laughs> Trouble? <laughs> okay, so yeah, my name is Trouble. Um, A lot of people know me by Kennedy. Uh, I do hair. I've been doing hair four or five years out of Dallas. Started in Oak Cliff. Um... I've been dancing since I was 18. I currently work at Ecstasy. Mm. You know, y'all can come fuck with me up there. Um, <laughs> look at him. We got to ask you about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, you know, a lot of people just know me just from doing her. I mean, like I said, people know me by Kennedy, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we popping in this music shit too. All right, tell, yeah. tell them about that, man. Cause uh Stay boy twins. Spain, shout out Spain. Yeah, shout out Big Spain, you know, Big Thomas, Spain. our brother. Yo, tell yeah, tell them what y'all got going on. Slang got. You know what I'm saying? What's the name of the group, man? I heard y'all got a group. Yeah, we're the Stack Twins. Okay. Mm -hmm. who, who put that together? We both did. Yeah, we both did. We help each sure. other with everything. So, you know. Okay. It's pretty cool. Stack Twins always stacking paper. You know what's going on. Got some hot shit on the way. Hot Stack shit on the way. Twins. I'm on the one of the features, so look out who be. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, now we here today. We because it gets a little messy on TV. Oh. So you want to be in reality TV? Is that what's going on? Tell us about this, man. What's going on? Well, we trying to we trying to be a little, you know, we're trying to bring out Dallas a little bit. Not too many people know a lot about Dallas. You know, uh, we don't have any kind of TV shows and nothing like that. So we're just going to pop our shit for the city, bring the girls out and give us, give them a little twist of what's going on in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, let them see how live we is. Because, you know, everybody always talking about how live Dallas is, but we don't never have nothing to show for it. So that's what we choose to bring to the show. Yeah, I feel like it's time to put some of the Dallas girls on the map. Ooh. We you got know? some bad bitches in Dallas too. Yeah. 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 They, they always talk about bitches. the other cities. They all the other cities got all the bad bitches. Now we do too. I always ask, why Why do you think Houston like strippers and dancers get more notoriety than Dallas? Um, I feel like they do because 
I feel like they city just fucks with them. You know what I'm saying? A little more. Like they promote them a little more. You know what I'm saying? I feel so, like, I feel like who, who Houston is just who? a hot city, period. Like, yeah. But it's mm-hmm. not like rappers and it's, stuff it's, it's there. Like, there. A lot of yeah. influences yeah. are from there and big time people yeah. are from there too. So... Mm-hmm. And not a lot of people come out of Dallas. They got, they got palm trees out there. I'm like, Dallas ain't got no palm trees. <laughs> That's how you feel? I <laughs> got the palm trees better in places right like Houston and you. Atlanta. They don't treat the celebrities good in Dallas. So we I going to yeah. Yeah. From Dallas, cause they don't treat the celebrities good, you know. Yeah, they know. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah we're gonna true. talk about that. Then everybody treat, not really just bringing how, everybody how out. Like, treat they you celebrities. Know? We're gonna talk about that. Um, but <laughs> yeah, with that being said, um, TV Now Network is about to do something real big. Shout out TV Now, Black on. Shout out TV Now, Black on Network. Now. About to put something big together on a reality show that you got ladies will be hosting. Certified um, City Girls. Yes, Certified City the Girls. The hottest man. in Dallas, Texas. What, what does it take to be a Certified City Girl? Like, what's the you know? I mean, qualification. You, gotta, you, you gotta be poppy, you just your gotta sheet be poppy sure. your you gotta sheet like on your sheet. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta have some shit going on. You know, can't be certified. You ain't got nothing going on. Don't nobody know who you are. So no. like, if she got like. Two hundred fifty thousand followers, but she sleep that on the air mattress. That don't mean you certified. Yeah, just because okay, so you got followers. Just because everybody got people followers. People buy followers on Instagram yeah. too. Like we you gotta don't even know if the followers that. real or not. So somebody with let's say a thousand followers come in and be a certified city girl just because they popping their shit, huh? Boy, that's damn. They all looking like the hell, likes, huh? the views, everything got to add up to. Okay, yeah. damn, man, you got yeah. <laughs> everything got to add up. You can have a whole bunch of followers. You can have a whole bunch of followers, but everything got to add up. Likes. Might not add up to your followers. They just look yeah, suspicious. So somebody came certified. in with like not not a you know nigga little twelve hundred little twelve hundred people. But she a bad motherfucker. And she popping her shit. It just don't. She qualify. she she most definitely can still be classified as a certified, certified city girl. girl. Okay, okay. But, but you know, you know social, social media just don't determine if you yeah, were certified. Social media definitely don't determine. You are who determine if, if you certified. certified. How, how many certified city girls are y'all looking for for the show? We Ooh. have twelve coming mm-hmm. on to the show. Ooh. One man. Well, well, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess yeah, we got twelve coming to the show. Mm-hmm. So we're only one. Gonna we're gonna only certify gym. one though. Hmm? We're only gonna certify one girl at the end. So whoever wins at the end, whoever go through all the challenges, we got um twelve challenges, twelve girls, one big mansion, and a lot of bad bitches. So you know what I'm saying? Whoever come out on top, that's who certified. That's just what that is. So are y'all competing too, or y'all the judges? We show. are the hoes. We are the we host. in the mix. We in the yeah, mix. Yeah, we de- we definitely still in the mix, but yeah, we kind of like on the outside, kind of really just you know running the shit, like you know. Mm-hmm. So can like y'all the- give us a hint as far as what kind of competitions they gonna have on the no, show? We like what can we expect to see? <laughs> we we, we got to tune in. Right? We want y'all to tune in and see yeah, what's we going on. We want to give y'all to no subscribe mm-hmm. before the show even comes out. Y'all need yeah. to subscribe because I'm telling you, it's gonna be a lot of hot shit going on. Mm-hmm. We can't tell y'all or. What it is, we want to give it away. Any of those challenges, some <laughs> of them we don't even know. So, you know, we're going to find out ourselves. This yeah. is an everyday, day for day type of thing. So, how did y'all meet? Because y'all got some good chemistry. Y'all seem like y'all really, really cool. Y'all really friends. How did y'all meet? How long y'all been? Bad bitches link up. Yeah. Right. yeah. Bad bitches link up. It's just the flow. Bad yeah. bitches be fighting too. We be watching Zeus Network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we might they get do. into a little conversations or whatever, but you know, it's all business at the end of the day. Right. Give me your top. We'll we figure it out. Give me your top moment in in just reality TV history. Top moment? Yeah, just a top moment in reality TV. Everybody, go through there. You know what? I can't really give you that because I'm not I'm not even in tune with TV. I be too busy hustling every day. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really in tune. No, I'm serious though. I'm on some yeah. real yeah. stuff. I really be in tune. Y'all be in tune over there TV now? Watching TV? I'm getting to the bag. Yeah, yeah. Y'all be tuned in so yeah. if you watch too much TV that, that disqualify you from being you got too much time on you ain't too uh, much you ain't really getting too you ain't doing saying? too much you a consumer you ain't a uh, producer mm-hmm. so with that being said uh, I'm just curious um if one of the girls in the house popped their shit off at one of y'all, y'all, uh, uh, what are you going? Security. They not popping. <laughs> they not popping their shit off. They, 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 they not popping their shit off. Now. They they gonna know how to come. Okay, they okay, know. Okay. They know not to play with us. We ain't going for none of that. I'm disqualifying off top. We ain't playing no games. They none forgot of that. the guy, brother. She yeah. she terminated shit. Yeah. Hey. Disqualify. Get out. Get this out of my house. We ain't doing none of that. Who got? Who got the most hands on this couch right now? 
What you mean? What you mean? What I mean? Who got Flexing? the hands? Fight, <laughs> fighting. Yeah. I mean, I mean like, everybody, everybody, got, everybody got that. Everybody got that. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble, yeah. Yeah. She looked too quiet over there. <laughs> she looked too quiet over there. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. No I don't be so, toilet. What are y'all expectations? Y'all got twelve girls gonna be in the house for how long? They're gonna be in the house for two, two weeks. weeks. Oh my fucking god! So you got twelve females. Who probably some may know each other, some may not, mm-hmm. and they gonna. A lot of the girls know each other. So a lot, well, of, a lot of them, the just some they of them. Come from different places. Though. Yeah, everybody coming from different. They probably don't seen each other on social media, some, but yeah. everybody Man, coming from different places. The last time I seen twelve girls in a house for two weeks, it it, 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 it didn't go too well. well. Ain't that what y'all looking for though? So what? Hey, what are y'all People expectations? People love to tune into drama. So. Yeah. yeah. What are y'all so expectations cool. for this? Like like day one, day six, last person. You know? I mean. We want them to bring. We want them to come and be on their best shit. You know what I'm saying? They we want, supposed, we we want everybody to just go with go with the flow. You know, mm-hmm. we, we have a good experience. Just go with like, the flow. So if however the day go, it's, it's TV. So we just you know what I'm saying. We're not expecting hall. nobody to be uh, trying to not do something that they would yeah, normally do to be because they, they on TV. We just yeah, want them to be yourself. You know? Is alcohol gonna be involved? Y'all gonna let alcohol, alcohol, a lot of yeah, a lot of alcohol. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Take a shot, 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 shot. I'm trying. To, <laughs> I'm trying to see somebody nigga get took on the show. You hear oh, me? Wait, 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 wait. How, how will y'all avoid a nigga sneaking on the yeah. on, on the compound? Yeah. What you mean? Like a nigga just say, like, "Hey, nigga, uh, I'm, ooh, there's twelve bad girls in the house. The neighbor might be like, hey, we won't get over there.' There's no, no niggas allowed. Like, no, way. Way. no, no, no niggas allowed. Oh, no. We're not doing none of that. Oh man, y'all gonna have twelve no, sexually no. frustrated women in the house. Yeah. That ain't what we here for. It's gonna be uh-uh. pull up outside. It's a kickback do, outside. Do, y- do y'all feel like there might be some girls hooking up with each other in the house? Definitely. I might be. I, I, I think definitely. Well, definitely with the liquor being involved. There's yeah. gonna be some stuff going on. Mm-hmm. I might be looking for me one. Little girl friend. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. They trying to recruit. The host is the host is getting the I'm not right now. Me. She gets to she gets we to the home. We did it down too. <laughs> So, I'm right now, I don't know. So like when 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 the show when the show kick off, right, and y'all looking at the contestants is like, do you already have it in your mind what you feel like you're looking for, or is it you just gonna let it play out? I feel like we should just let it play out. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. I, I don't feel like we should go into looking for anything specific because then when you look for it, it's like it's planned, it's script. Yeah, we just want it to be good, you know. Yeah. Like, right. Okay, this fake. They everything be, come natural. I want to so, just actually flow and go. With, you know, everything just look normal, like real life. That's how I want it to go. Yeah. So the winner, <laughs> what does the winner get? The certified baby, Which the certified a BBL, one. a cash prize. She get a BBL, a b- yeah, BBL. BBL. We turning them Bitch, up. Love BBL. Did, did she get the <laughs> Did she, get the the BBL? Did she get to pick how many ounces or just, just, just I mean, I don't know yeah, how, she has to discuss that with work. her doctor. Yeah, yeah. That's between her yeah, and the doctor. That's her, yeah. So what she if she don't need a BBL? Oh, she already got one. Cash price. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give them more. Give but a you dope. never know. You never know. Oh, they, they can get their teeth done as yeah. well. We got different, oh, you know, different, different stuff. Mm-hmm. They got a BBL, they get their teeth done. They TV network becoming a little different this time. Black on, we trying to pop our shit a little bit different. A little harder. Yeah. You know, everybody want to come on the show now. Everybody want BBL. It's a little popping thing. Did y'all see that situation? Where that girl went in for the BBL and, and had a kidney, kidney missing. Oh, that's so. That was so sad. <laughs> that's because she went to a chop shop. Dollars, but that's for going out the country. Yeah, you they go out the country and never come to, back. Yo, that story. That story was not true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't think so? And hypothetically, it was. Well, <laughs> so the, do, 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 this number is disconnected. <laughs> you will not find me. Now, you know, I do have friends that got BBLs and they go out of the country. They go, you know, to DR to get it. And they said they be waking up during the surgery like multiple times. No, I, went, well, I went to the DR. I, we I both went to the DR. None of that. And our experience was good when we went to the DR. Yeah. We have no problems. None of that. Like, like how what? everybody be complaining. It's different over there. And it's just not as different. They wake get up you. during the surgery. Well, I didn't wake up. But they don't, don't even give you like The type of pain pills That they give us over here They mm-hmm. don't have that over there So it is a little different right. But it just depends On who you go to You know How long you gotta uh, Be off your ass uh, Okay so let me see yeah, talk, talk, talk to him You not supposed to really Like be sitting on your ass For a very long time But see I didn't listen And I came out just fine you, Okay you want to I mean, Perfect. like, you got active, like, what, day two? You just... Nah, you can't no, get, we can't we get active for no day two. Okay, so the yeah. 12 days. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
That's crazy. But they want you to keep going. They want you to. You gotta be in prayer position. They don't want you laying on your sides. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call it. For that's real. what they call it. For real. Yeah, I don't know. because I'll they have you like that. leaning over a bed. You're leaning over the bed on your knees, and they have like a pad on the floor so your knees don't hurt because you're not supposed to sit on your butt, and they don't want you laying on your hips as well because it makes it it make you smaller. Did you take a selfie in that position while you? <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Talk about the massages. How have all y'all had work done? All y'all had BBLs? How do y'all I feel about the? I had like a three sixty. Huh? My boots. Okay, so how do y'all feel about the massages? The lymphatic massages. Like they have a little. They hurt. They hurt at the beginning. Yes, they hurt. So on a scale from one to ten, I'm a ten. pain freak, so it kind of like feel a good. Yeah, ten. I, I don't say that. It just, I'm a pain freak. So tell us more about this, you being a pain freak. So what, what make you say you a pain freak? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have a <laughs> this is a professional interview. Right. No they problem. Know. It's cool. What they want to know. I'm, I'm I mean, here to you tell you. A, you had a doctor, they'd be like, uh, pain is zero, you're happy. Ten, nigga, red face fucked up. How much, how much can you take? The way you said it kind of... <laughs> Kind of Put me in a little different mind, you know. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, crazy. you know, I can take it. I, I'm curious uh, when it when y'all see them uh, the men the men masseuse that be doing all that, you know, they be getting in there and doing all that oil and shit, and you know, you know, yeah. Oh, the massages. Yeah, them, yeah, the masseuse niggas that they be. They actually look good. Yeah, have, y'all, have one of y'all had one of them situations? No, y'all, do y'all I want wanna, that. I want to try it. You want to try it? You want to get all the way? How, how far yeah, you want this nigga? Get out it actually look like it feel good though when yeah, they do the massage. See, you might as well just go and see what the fuck. Nah, <laughs> nah they fuck around be trying to. <laughs> yeah, I think they like, yeah, like, like, why you not looking? Like, you might cough. Oh, 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 So what do you think this show gonna do for the city? I think it's gonna put the city on the map. Definitely, they definitely ask the crowd. They ready for it? They ready for it? They shit. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of people tuning in to it. Special guests coming. It's it's gonna be. Yes, epic. they got some special guests oh, coming. They don't won't even tell us oh, who shit. it is. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's it's gonna be some shit going on. Yeah. So, so what do you think we got to do to catch up to uh, Atlanta and LA and all these other cities when it we comes? We ain't got to that? catch up. We already caught up. Okay, top we ten there. shit. Then. Yeah, we, yeah, we, gotta, we, we just gotta, gotta pop our shit. We ain't yeah, yeah, cool. enough. You know what I'm saying? We, we there, there, but we just ain't. Yeah, we just ain't doing what. We just ain't popping it. Hey, um. So uh, when it comes to reality shows. What are your thoughts on reality shows in general? Sometimes I be feeling like the reality shows be scripted, just depending on the show. What show you think is scripted? Mm. Oh, oh the yeah, show Love Hip Hop for sure. Oh yeah, the, the way they be walking in Love Hip Hop, they be hitting that corner, the nigga, the angle, the slow motion. Like, nah, yes. hell nah, hell definitely nah. Scripted. I feel like if it's not all scripted, eighty percent of it is definitely scripted. Yes. You could just tell some. Right. Sometimes yeah, it just don't even. I, I feel like that. Like how know. do they? How they just gonna know to end up in? Like okay, on Love and Hip Hop, how they be having those um album release parties? I think Love and Hip Hop scripted people though. even there. I think love and yeah. But you really popping. So how do you not have nobody here? So uh, yeah, yeah, every yeah, goddamn like, scene you run into your app. Every scene McDonald's with the. Why not, am I um, at my release party? Yeah, nope. it's like how? <laughs> come on now. We did an interview with Lil Scrappy. He said uh, eighty percent is what he wants it to be. But there's 20% that he doesn't have no control over that they just, they be fucking with him. Yeah, they, they put the videos together. So how do y'all feel? Like, do y'all feel like a lot's gonna be not in the show, like unedited, that some, you know, you can't say, it's not safe for work, can't, you know, too much for TV. Y'all think some of that's gonna happen? It might be, but we, we're we trying to make it as raw as possible. You know what I'm saying? It's like, t- we ain't really trying to hide too like much. the movies on Tubi, them fake looking motherfuckers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's, uh, <laughs> Is it Tubi? It's gonna come out. It's Tubi. It's Tubi. It's Tubi. It's Tubi. It's Tubi. Yeah, the little ghetto movies. Y'all yeah, feel like somebody yeah. gonna get naked? We ain't drunk. Yeah, they definitely. She said, "Ain't this shit definitely?" Shit, yeah, but it's hard outside. Man, they're man. They gonna be in the house. I'm gonna do one of them pranks. Them truth or dare? Mm-hmm. Go oh, jump yeah, in the nah. pool. It's cold outside. Go jump in the pool. If you don't go outside, you get naked. Has you gotta go? Ooh, Damn, that's a challenge. That's a challenge. So, what, uh, <laughs> he said, "Go that way." Y'all, is there any uh, other ethnicities? Ethnicities on the show? Is it gonna be strictly uh, uh, melanated or? How y'all feeling? Y'all gonna get like one little Caucasian in there, maybe? We got, uh, maybe a little I Indian girl, a little Chinese. It looked like something going on, but we all black. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, 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 we black. Different we shades black. of black. Mm-hmm. Different shades. 
Yeah, yeah definitely. You never Black know. The, episode, with the, juice, uh, the next know. season, we might find a little song. She Speaking might not of, be scared of y'all. Speaking of going into a season two, uh, how do you feel this show will help the city, man, as far as just on an overall look and seeing that things is happening in Dallas? You know what I'm saying? I feel like we're going to bring the city out. It's kind of like, yeah. 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 Like it same is. Question. Nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. But all right. Well, let, well, let's let's well, let's take it there, man. Uh, you know, uh, we have y'all here. We talking about the show. We are gonna watch it. But y'all, ladies, uh, y'all been in the city, and y'all again, y'all already certified. So we got to get y'all thoughts on some uh, certain situations that you know kind of been going on and going down. Okay. Uh, chosen first and foremost, I want your thoughts on this. Um, when you see like the uh, stripper bowl. Mm-hmm. That happens in Miami, wherever the wherever the hell Q- QC be taking the stripper bowl. What are your thoughts when you see like every girl in the country flying out all to go to this one spot to hopefully get money that they could have been getting at home? Mm-hmm. And like on, you know, everybody gone. Shit, we we had we had DG's lit. Mm-hmm. What do you feel about everybody falling to one city to try to have 300 girls in one spot getting some money? Well, it's not like they all going to come, you know, to get the money, of course. But you just got to be popping so you can get chosen and be for sure to get the money. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if the Super Bowl, I mean, the Stripper Bowl, if it's in Miami, I'm going too. Because I know I'm getting peaks. It'll be in the section. I'm making that bag. Yeah. Yeah. So it just depends on you, like in your connections, who you mess around with, you know, so you can. Being good, you know what I'm saying. You don't just dry go out there though. She don't be want to fly out there too. Yeah, no, go get the bag. Nah, go real. get the bag. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> do you do you think OnlyFans fuck the strip club game up? As far as like strippers even want to do that shit. I think them two t- two, two different, different type things. of. But if you get in a bag on OnlyFans, do you even want to strip no more? It's some girls that got the strippers that still got OnlyFans mm. or I mean, they got still OnlyFans strip. and they still strip. Just, yeah, it's like, just, just like different, like different you live in real life, you know, going on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. People get paid to flex on Instagram too. So I used to work in Onyx when it was open. I was a waitress. Do y'all feel like the strip club scene has gone? It's not what it used to be, yeah. or do y'all it's feel like it's definitely not what it used, it used to, be. to be? Like, no. no, it's definitely not what it used to be. Clubs don't even bring artists like that no more. It used like, to be. They don't even pay to bring it. Like, what used to be where it's at? Like, you go in a club, you see the same motherfucking people. Everybody else at home. And then there's always some drama going on. All that. Now, mind you, there was a guy who went viral in Dallas saying that man, girls and. Dallas just don't be working hard for their money no more. They be kind of just getting lazy with it and they expect us to throw more and do more. What are y'all thoughts when y'all say that Dallas girls have gotten lazy I on that like- pole? These men want you to don't want to spend no hard. money for nothing. Yeah, they want to rub on you and uh, yeah, that, touch that's, you and stuff. And I ain't make me no go money. to work one day and say, I, yeah. ain't, I ain't doing don't nothing. Don't touch me. You're not throwing no money. I'm not finna sit up here and be sweating, dancing, all this. And you're not even throwing no real money. All right, like, so, take, so, take, so take me through, right? For just the regular nigga that don't hit the strip club, <laughs> right? Because it's niggas that don't really hit the strip club, so they don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is the etiquette like? Like, because I think I was over tipping. Them niggas like, you crazy. How much should he bring in? Or- yeah, how? Like, like, what is it like? Hey, I want to. I see a nice young woman. I want to. Hey, I want to get a little lap dance. I don't think there's no Which, particular what? amount. I don't even. Yeah, what's the minimum? It's never enough. No, it's never enough. 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 The minimum amount. Oh, why you are yeah, like? How you going out? Like, are you going out to look for a young lady to come give you a dance, or are you going to go chill? I just want to have a good little, just a good little time. I'm a hard work man. It really depends on your caliber, like what kind of nigga you is. Yeah, like, yeah. Really you really have to yeah. 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 Niggas coming there with. I'm gonna go throw this ten just to show off. Yeah, yeah. Show yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you, you can't, can't fuck with me. Yeah, yeah. You know he can't throw the ten. He he a regular nigga now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. That's why I said it just depends on what type of nigga you are. Right, if right, you right. A regular type of nigga. Okay, I'm gonna come here and throw this thousand. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, that's cool. Right that's really the minimum. That's, that's, that's really right. the minimum, though. Wait, that this nigga works at Amazon. And he just trying to have a good night. A, uh, a thousand dollars is cool. That's yeah, cool. he can't throw it. You said a band? Yeah. Amazon. Okay, why not? He need to come with that list. $1,795 an hour. $500 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 that's the minimum. Okay, though. fine. Okay, that's, that's cool. really nothing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we get that, but we just I try throw to throw that. I go in the club and throw that. So if you a nigga, you should you be able to throw a little more than you that. Need to go I guess home, if you were just for inflation, that's not good to say. You work at Amazon, you yeah. just don't even need to come to the club. Yeah, yeah. 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 he just, I mean, just no, no, because no. he can just handle his bills. Yeah, go buy some video games. Say that shit. I'm talking about this for real. Just to the OnlyFans. Okay, all right. Let me let me ask a better question. I got $200. How can I have a good night? 
I or a decent night. Just I want to spread it. I got no. You know what? No, seriously, because you might not find somebody that's like us, like a high class. Yeah, I'm not even looking for the bad one. You might find somebody that's kind of like if if you got two hundred dollars and you want to go to the club, then you know. I feel like you can go sit down and find you somebody that might, you know, that don't mind. And just doing a little one two for the the fifty three year old stripper. (laughs) (laughs) I really honestly like if I was a stripper and you had just two hundred. Yeah. I'll shake a little leg or something and get that 200 and go on by my yeah, business. Yeah, but, but you can't even spend it on your face. I ain't gonna say that, no to yeah, the money. Like, no. how, long, how, long did, how long is it gonna take to blow through that 200 fucking with you? Quick, you quick. Gotta, you gotta, oh, what about the money? 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 Y'all thought that 200 and we ain't got one song. It's a wrap. Two songs? Two songs is gone. No, you get one song. You get one song and them songs are short. Yeah. So my question to y'all is, well, the ones who want to sing one song. So uh, when I used to work in the club, I was a waitress, right? And I would work with the dancers, right? Mm-hmm. I know it's a treasure hunt, right? You're trying to yeah. find what's out there. So I would let them know how much the guys had. So my question to y'all is, how much time do y'all spend with, you know, a customer? And if he ain't spending like you want him to spend, then you move on. How right. much time is that you spend with that person? It just depends on the bag, what he throwing. If he right. consistently throwing money, we ain't moving. We going to let I'm him keep throwing money. Let's say, yeah. he have, he have, let's say he got... A brick on the table, mm-hmm. right? A brick. But he What's a brick? He, uh, it's a thousand. So, uh, he got a thousand on the okay. table. Oh, mm-hmm. he, but he haven't opened it. He haven't opened it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He just chilling. He just talk. How much time do you spend getting to know him and just talking to him and shooting the shit until we're you gonna be like, yeah. we're, we're gonna take a couple shots. We're gonna take a couple shots, mingle a little bit. He gonna be ready to throw it. It ain't gonna take so too ain't long. Gonna he open that bag, basically. If, if the bag on the table, you ain't going to wait till he opens it. He's gonna open it. He's gonna open the bag for sure. Rub on that motherfucker a little bit. Talk to him a little bit. What's up? Get that drink. You got it. Fuck it. Yeah. 200 gone. Hey, hey, what's what's the most? I'm going straight for the gusto, baby. Come yeah. on. Come what's on. The most, what's the most you made in the night? Mm. No cap. No filter. No well, we we done went out of town in the we be dancing in Atlanta too, so Ooh. we be making some money. That magic cool. Yeah, that what's it called? Blue uh just about 10 really yeah because we always in the sections with the famous people when we be down there so we be yeah. bound to make a bag like we ain't made less than six bands out there in the so, so after you hit a 10 piece what's that prayer to god that you hit thank you lord, thank you, lord jesus i appreciate you for that bag. i appreciate you for giving me all that ass lord jesus i just it's a, it's a little slower in dallas it though it's a little slower, slower in dallas, in dallas. Why do, you, why do you think that is? The PPP dried up or you just like, is Man, it COVID? Niggas stingy something. They do you be think COVID? Stingy. You think niggas just went and got a relationship after COVID? Because that COVID-based shit was kind of real. After COVID, everything went down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Literally. Niggas, niggas, niggas jumped and fucked around and got a wife. coming in the club. <laughs> niggas said, fuck this shit. Throwing that bag like they used to. <laughs> yeah, who, nah. Who, who was the best tipper? Uh, the, the, the hood nigga, the, the construction working Mexican man, or the... The drug dealers. Nigerian. Definitely. The Nigerian. <laughs> The white, the mm-hmm. white, the no, the white man. Yeah, the white man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm just too. I don't know. I ain't in the club. Scammers yeah. too. <laughs> so, so I gotta. Ask, so, for those who are in the club, let me give me. Uh, what's the most fucked up story you told somebody to get to? You know, cut. I know y'all be coming with them stories, like, you know. Nah, I ain't coming up with no stories. You ain't, you, wait, wait, you ain't. Even when you first started, you had to, like, you know, learn the game because you know you knew. You ain't never came with no just. False little, my bill is due. No, my what? Car no, no. Is due. I ain't doing all that up here talking to these customers. No, it, it, it don't take, it don't take all day. Oh my God, because I gotta pay my light bill. No, this ain't gonna be looking at me like. So y'all said when y'all go out of town, y'all always in the section with like, you know, the famous people, the known people. So with my experience, I feel like the rappers, I feel like other people tip better than some of these famous rappers who they supposedly don't. have all this money. So how do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel like rappers don't tip as well as you think that they would? I do feel like that. Mm-hmm. I do feel like that. We done been in some sections where it's, you know. Yes. You would think like, they, they gonna come in and throw go fuck their money out. Uh, and I mean, they don't. 10, 20,000, they don't come throw, but like five, six thousand dollars mm-hmm. you know. But... Everybody different. So. so each is on, you know. You so got some rappers who don't care about fucking their bag off, so they gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Other ones, they just. So what is your definition of a trick? Like, what is? Whoa. Oh my god! Oh my Ask us these every time. I'm just saying they want to know. The definition of a trick to me is just paying for or to spend time with them or like just paying for attention. Yeah. Mm. Giving them money, go out to eat with them, stuff like that. Yeah. Paying Can you it. pay indirectly and be considered a trick? You pay, who? pay indirectly, like gifts, uh, taking care of the 
It doesn't. It doesn't necessarily I mean, gotta oh, be yeah, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now you know what I'm saying. Bur- you know, birthday, birthday, <laughs> Birkin. Like yeah, but now here's what I need. It ain't tricking if you got it. Oh, 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 oh I like that. Oh, 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 oh. Tax write off. Some, some man. A lot of niggas don't know about that. That come with bitches that certified. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, if Bill Gates came into the into DGs and he was like, man, hey, I'm finna, I'm finna fuck it up. Like, how, what would be your approach? I'm over to- there with him while he fucking it up. I'm getting the bag. I'm over there. Hey, and then put a B on, up, and hey, then put a whole B on the table. Hey baby, how are you? <laughs> and then come in there with a B, just a whole B and on the table. <laughs> I told you, I'm gonna I'm rub that. Uh. So. Like I'm going right for that. Uh. They love that. Uh. So, um, I know different strip clubs have different rules as far as um, you know etiquette with the workers. So at DGs and at Ecstasy. What are the rules as far as if you're over here dancing with these people, they throwing money? Can another girl just come over there? Is it like no. once money the hit money the hit the, the floor, floor, there's no more girls allowed? Yeah. Okay. okay. Once so the money we try to keep no- as, as less okay. girls as possible. Mm-hmm. So that means get them to throw the money so as, like, as, like, you know, as, as quick as they can when we get over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if they do start throwing the money and another girl, let's say she knew she don't really know, she come over there and start dancing. I'm gonna then, tell her she what? cannot dance. You, you, this is not for you. It's not. You can't dance over here. Or I'm going to just say, baby, it's already money on the floor. But they you know? should already know that. It don't matter if yeah. you knew or not, because they're going to tell you before you start working the rules of the club. Of the club. Yeah. So have y'all seen a situation where girls just they don't keep it 100, man? The money, you know, when you throw it, it be falling all over places. They be over there with their heels trying to, you know. We can't, get all we, can't we can't help that. We can't <laughs> yeah. help that. Okay, okay, okay. This yeah, like, we do that in the club. Spill it, spill it, it's like, we it. can't, it's, once they start doing that, we don't even, we ain't feeling like, you, like you no nigga that throws it like pass you to some other section, like nigga. Nigga, direct your throw, nigga. Like right like, here, nigga. What the some fuck? niggas yeah, come in there and they 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 yes. direct they back, you know where mm-hmm. where where the girls is, but then they might want to show out a little bit and start throwing it just All anywhere. Place. When you know, niggas do that, yeah, they showing out for yeah, them. So you can't really they just control that. With somebody that. in the club. Yeah, he trying I ain't to show lie, out. Man. Hey, hey, this is a real life story, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell this on real life street star because this 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 fucked me up, man. Um, it really fucked me up. I went to go film the Migos, man, at Onyx, and them niggas was throwing a bag. That nigga Quavo looked at me. And then I had the camera. I mean, I'm filming, you know. And they looked at me and threw money like right at me. Like it was like a, a stack. I mean, that bitch like, I'm like, this nigga. And I felt the way like, but I'm filming him. I'm like, man, say this nigga just disrespect me. Yeah. So I wanted I want to say something, but I, I didn't say nothing. And then he did it again. I said, oh, no. Hell no. I said, hell no. Nah, I'm here for a job. I said, fuck it, man. This nigga. But I, I'm like, the way a nigga throw money, I think it just got to be etiquette to that. Because I'm like, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Some of the money going. Yeah, he's gonna land. Oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Might land in your lap while you sit down. Nah, for real, for real. I remember one time I was was, I was in Atlanta and we were dancing at uh, King of Diamonds. And they had black youngster out. And he threw the damn money. And he, <laughs> no, when I'm telling y'all, he was throwing the money by the brick. So oh, he was throwing the money. He threw it like from we, the we top, were from though. the top. Like we were, down, top. we were down here. So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, hit me in the head. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm like, what's going on upstairs? Like, <laughs> yeah. That nigga throwing the whole thing. That's funny. Like that. Yeah. that nigga threw that so, shit hard. So, so what do you, what do you, uh, how do y'all feel about when a nigga make it re-rain? Make it what? Rewrite. When he pick it back up. He I'm... cannot pick that money up once he's on the floor. <laughs> I've never seen no. that happen ever in my life. Know, well, if I'm... a nigga do that, he a roach. <laughs> I, done, I done did that in the club. <laughs> 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 you know, you did that in the club. I did that in the club. The night over, if you ain't got no money to spend on no my money, you need to go on here. Yeah, you do have women. I see women do it all the time. I did it myself. I all see right. women do it all so, the time. So tell me what is this move? Because this is like the first time I ever went to a strip club when a, just a stripper just sit on your lap. And now she just... Is that, She's sitting on your lap. That's you're, you're, you're coming in the club, right? So y'all, y'all were asking us, you know, how do you, how does, how do you approach a man basically to get him to start throwing, throwing the money and yeah. you know, conversation rules, rules the, nation. the nation. So, mm-hmm. so she got that. I think it's the way you sit down on the lap too. Yeah, you can't just plop down. You can't just you gotta sit that ass. You gotta sit on that one knee with that arch in it and slam. What brought you in here today? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, 200 gone. 200. Oh, shit. It's gone. Oh, shit. Trying to go. Oh, shit. Trying to go. Oh, I'm out of house and home. You got to hit them with that. What you, you, what you drinking? Turn around yeah, with it and roll sexy. back. You know, you got to talk She said, oh. Mm-hmm. Don't give me style. I, I, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do it like this. Uh, I want to know, and don't answer yet. I want to know y'all thoughts as far as what age should a stripper retire? On, mm. count, on the count of three, I want y'all to say y'all age real quick together. Okay. All right. One, two. 30. 27. Oh, 30. She said 27. She's like, like an NFL running back. She said 27. We said 30. 
30? I'm trying to be rich by 30. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. Trying yeah, to be I don't want to be, I'll be, be rich when I'm 30. Well, well established. established. So do y'all be looking down on them like the 35-year-old stripper still in there trying to make it? Mm, I don't look well, down, look down, on, down them, on it, but, but sometimes like, it just be like, you know. What are you doing? Or or mm-hmm. like, what are you doing to still have to be here and the people that you were here. dancing with are done elevating there somewhere else? Like, come on now. The, Some people the, can't even tell that. part of the game is to is to get it in and get it out. Yeah, so even outside of the re- reality show with like a girl, y'all already certified. Y'all showed showed us y'all certification slips already. Um, do y'all give game to younger females that whether in the strip club or just even girls in general, like in the in the business world, the hair world, whatever? every day, yeah, every day, most definitely. I'm I'm, man, I'm straightforward with all my friends, everybody. Like you know, we all go through stuff. I done been through some shit to be 26. Talk to man. Him. So you know, I, I'm I'm straightforward with everybody around me. Mm-hmm. I want to see everybody elevate. You know, so I'm straightforward with everybody. Like you, I call my friend right now. She be like, I'm her life coach or something. So that's what's up. Mm-hmm. I just done been through some shit to be able to tell somebody. You know, what not to go through and how this gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So, so I feel so, like yeah. So beyond beyond the reality show, let's just say y'all were in a actual TV or movie. Mm-hmm. What move type of movie would y'all want to play in? Action movie. Oh shit! What would you be doing? Action, action movie, horror, drama, jumping from buildings oh, and shit. I like that. <laughs> shout, shout out, uh, shout out, half pint. I like thing. those bank robber movies. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, 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 I love those bank, bank robber movies. I put that mask on. Yeah. Or uh, okay. what's that movie? Hey, that's what I was gonna say. I need one more. <laughs> one more. We got one more. She ain't here right now. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to her. Off, uh, now, now, honestly, honestly, uh, and I'm just curious. You meet a dude, uh, everything's rocking. Y'all been talking for a while, then y'all finally get to the business. You know, things happen. At what What's point? What's the business? The business is the business. You know, the, you <laughs> okay. know, the, the business. <laughs> okay. At what point do you uh, that you know? Let's say, yeah. you know, this is first time over. Your first time over. You know, y'all over each other. At what point do you take your face off? When I mean your face off, I mean when. You, at what point do you wipe off your makeup? My makeup already off. Mm. Oh. We oh. don't wear the makeup every day. day. We pretty oh. in real life. We don't gotta do all this. Yeah, my makeup oh. already mm-hmm. off. Introduced. Yeah, so uh, he he probably going on a date. He I mean, more so y'all already talking. Y'all already talking. You got y'all yeah. on a date. Be you before or after. We I on mean, a date. This is the only time I'm getting dressed up. He gonna see me regular. I'm telling you, I'm in hustle mode. Yeah. Every I'm from Tuesday to Saturday with this shit. Only mm-hmm. day off. I got Sunday and Monday. I like it. so. I mean, the only time you're going to see me like this is I've got to be going on. to an interview or I'm yeah. going on a date with you. Other than that, I'm in hustle mode. We grinding, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say, man, Birthdays. let's say you, you do have a man. How much should that man spend on you per week? Per week. Mm. Wait, is that Per again? week? Per week. <clears throat> how much should he, how much, ba- how much of a bag should he be blowing on you per week? Well, mm. my first date, I had a nigga spend like 13. He took me out of town and, uh. Show me a nice time, so I don't know. It just depends on the caliber of the nigga. Uh, the get. nigga what, it what, is. What did he get for thirteen dollars? Thirteen dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was about to what? <laughs> we all had a good time. Thirteen you know? hundred. No, baby. God, just God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he took me to the. Uh, he took me on the shopping spree, paid yeah, for my trip, and mm-hmm. we went to uh, Dreas. That was off the off the muscle meeting. <clears throat> <laughs> I said what oh, I yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you it, de- it depends on the yeah. caliber, baby. You serve. It depends on the caliber. He got. Yeah, what, city, I got what I want. He got what he wanted. Yeah. So, and I just want y'all thoughts on the city girl mantra as of right now, man. Uh, the city girls have changed the way women look at themselves, and you know the fem. What is it called? Femininity is what's that word? Sex. Yeah, what's the word? He's just making up shit. Yeah, you know, yeah, well, y'all know the goddamn word. Being feminine. Yeah, being feminine. feminine let's say um, that women are owning their sexuality. Uh, shout out to City Girls. Shout out uh, Young Miami and uh, JT. Uh, what are y'all thoughts as far as seeing women really owning their sexuality in 2022? Sexual liberation. Sexual liberation. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, y'all fucking with it. Well, of course y'all fucking with it, but. Y'all, go in a little more. Yeah, y'all, it's y'all, a light. Do y'all like to probably see women be a little more submissive, or y'all like to see the dominant women ha- popping? I shit? do. I like I, to see the dominant. Yeah, yeah. We're very dominant, so. Yeah. But I mean, like I to be a little submissive. I want to be like, yeah, but I'm not a man. Two times was on Erica Banks' ass. I don't want to say. Okay, so we're not okay. So as far as that type of dominant, no, not that type of dominant. Like you know, you gotta. I just want to be loved, y'all. For real. I yeah. just really just I wanna be I wanna get sure. DMs is open DMs is open y'all, at the plug I've been, I've been dominant hard for too many years y'all niggas like, gotta come with 20 alone. now I, I, I done love I done found myself I done found out how to love myself I done found out how to be alone I found out how to do everything alone mm-hmm. but right now 
it's time to be loved. You know what I'm saying? You so, can't. You you got to actually prosper and everybody need love. Wait, everybody. So, so you a boss? Can you get with a man who's not a boss? No, I no. can't. Damn, damn. No, for what? Then he gonna look. He gonna be. He gonna look like like I'm. We too old. Competition to, be to him. Yes. Having to bring these niggas up. I he did that before already too. Yeah, it's been there, done that, not doing it ever again. And he used me. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, hey, what, what's, the, what's the worst me. shit a nigga done did to y'all, man? Bitch, that y'all could, ungrateful ho. What's the worst shit a nigga done did to y'all that just made y'all say, "Oh fuck these niggas"? <laughs> Can y'all even touch on it? Man, I done brought a nigga from down to up. I'm telling you, like, yeah. he lost everything he had, and I took him to the store and bought everything he needed. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's some real shit. What's the pettiest shit, y'all? Damn, nigga, true. You just don't give a fuck. They don't care. They only <laughs> care about themselves. They don't care. That's true. Chosen, you, you ain't making it easy for them niggas when you go, nigga, 200. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm trying to make it easy for no nigga. So, they don't make it easy mo- for us. What's the pettiest right. shit y'all took from a relationship? What's the pettiest shit y'all said? I'm, well, what's the pettiest shit y'all done? And forks and shit, and they can't even cook no more. Yeah. Take a nigga car keys. Nah, that's wrong. I sure that's did. wrong. No, I had just bought. <laughs> that's I wrong. Did, yo. I took, yo, it, you I don't can't care. go nowhere. Can't go nowhere. You playing with me? Took them. I did that. I took that nigga keys. I don't care. Took his keys. Where you going? I, I went took outside. his favorite shoes. Well, I had just bought him some shoes for his birthday. Took mm-hmm. them out. We outside fighting, y'all. Wow, <laughs> he wore them shoes back. Man. I'm crying. Oh well, get my shoes. <laughs> what the, you seen that post where they were like, I had just bought him some Armory jeans. He only answered one car. <laughs> I want to make <laughs> yeah. And real quick, man, I just you know I want this from the ladies' perspective, man. What is y'all thoughts on the Dallas hip hop scene right now? I feel like the Dallas hip hop scene is Dallas we about to work. take Dallas over it. Work, by, by <laughs> I feel like it could be more of how can I put it? I feel like the the, the artists in Dallas could be promoting themselves a little better as yeah. far as like putting Dallas on the map. I feel like there's a lot of people that are from Dallas that don't put their city on the map if you kind of get where I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like it's a we got people that's, you know, famous from out here, but they really don't fuck with us yeah, though. They don't fuck with you Dallas. Know, how like you don't yeah. fuck with your own city? Now and even in that sense, well, it used to be a situation where artists will be in the strip clubs that's to, it. you know, work their record. Do y'all still see artists coming to the strip clubs to work their records? I know. Damn. We don't see a lot of artists come to the clubs at all. That's what I was just saying. Like mm-hmm. Yeah, they not they got- bringing artists to the club no more. Seems like, yeah. That's fucking. And you work at, uh, you said XTC. H- how did you feel about this scenario where um, I think it was that lady that got kicked out the club and then they she ended up getting shot and they end up um, doing the protest? I didn't, like, how I did didn't that- really agree to the situation. <laughs> yeah. However, however it happened. Um, just speaking from Facebook's or like my my people's side point of view. Right. Uh, but. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I work there, so look. Right, right, right. Let me just, yeah. let me just tell now, you, I don't even want to speak on this. Yeah, I feel, I feel, yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel. So let's do it like this, man. Uh, the city, uh, certified city girls coming up, man. Twelve girls in the house. Eliminations. Uh, it's gonna be dope. Dallas, I don't think seen none like this. It's gonna be very dope. Uh, what do y'all expect as far as um for yourselves? Like you said, twenty eight thousand followers is gonna be up after that. What do y'all expect for yourselves after hosting this uh this death match? More followers, more bookings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, bigger opportunities. Bigger opportunities. Blue checks in the DM. Definitely. They already yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. Say they already, hey, they can y'all, already can y'all there. Can y'all touch on one? Can That's y'all, normal. Can, can y'all tell us about one of them blue checks? That, Mm-mm. Ah, basic. Ah, yeah. I don't be talking about shit. Ah, I don't to tell y'all who they is. I leave them on red. Ah. Yes, definitely. Catch me in person. Y'all, y'all done got flued out somewhere. Y'all treat these people right? like they normal. <laughs> Maybe yeah, the just because they got some blue checks that they can yeah, sweep nah. us off our feet, baby. Some people just got a uh, blue checks in an organization, yeah. like they mm-hmm. go to SMU or something. They ain't wow. really blue check. Got you, y'all. y'all yeah, they pulled, got a blue check on Instagram, but I want to know do you have it in real before, life? Whatever, anybody. No, no, no flying to Iowa. Just checking. Um, so definitely, man. Uh, uh, 2022, man. The certified city girls. Uh, the show's gonna be crazy. Um. Uh, man, again, TV Now is the network as far as that's going to be putting this thing out, man. We're very excited about seeing what's about to happen with it. Um, let's just do it like this as far as to promote yourselves. Tell them how to get at y'all on uh, y'all IGs, TikTok, Twitch, I don't, you know, whatever y'all on. Twitch. Nigga, y'all, female gamers is it. Hey, female, what's female what's gamers, hey, the girl, what's Twitch is video that? games. Okay. And okay. I have a lot, okay. I have a lot okay. a female that I play can Call play, of Duty. Yeah, a female that can play Call of Duty, my nigga. You will, Bro, uh, you gotta add me. Hey, nigga, hey, we about to add it, man. We about to get. Yeah, we trash. 
<laughs> My tag Q Junior uh, seventeen. Q Junior seventeen. Oh, okay. Q Q Junior seventeen. Q Junior seventeen. Okay, we all. Like motherfucker. You was the one on that real life street star camera. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, now tell them how to get all your handles if y'all don't mind. Uh, okay, so my Instagram is I am chosen with four underscores. Make sure y'all put the four underscores because I got fake pages. Three yeah. underscores, five yeah. underscores. Oh, like a fake four. page. <laughs> no, I had to put four because somebody like made a fake page of me. Damn. They took my name, so I had Damn. to you know add a little extra on there. Whatever, okay, let's get it. Changing it. And then also you can follow me on TikTok, the Godmother. Yeah, that's the only social media. Uh, I got. I got Instagram. Uh, yeah, it's Sean. It's H A two H's and two N's underscore underscore. It's kind of difficult. Sorry. Very difficult. You got you. God damn. <laughs> I had another Instagram. Have, got you, have you ever been deleted? Have y'all been deleted? Yeah, I've been hacked. Never. Hacked. Never. Uh, yeah. I'm don't, not don't, don't to click on the I got too many followers. I'm not trying to be deleted. Yeah. Either. Don't click on that. Don't click on that extra <laughs> shit. Uh, your best friend said, "Girl, uh, send me uh, a <laughs> send me, uh, send me. I'm gonna send you an email. I'm gonna uh, give you a photo of code. <laughs> Nigga, no." Um, go and tell me how to get at you on social media. Um, my Instagram, I am trouble with two underscores, two E's, and two underscores. We're gonna put the motherfucking link in the bio, guys. Yeah, yeah we're gonna put the link in the bio. bio. But then on Facebook, it's Kennedy McHale. Mm-hmm. And then if y'all come to Ecstasy, make sure y'all ask for a trouble. Oh, yeah, yes, bring and more if you than come to DG's, please, please you gotta ask bring your bag. <laughs> Somebody stole my name. DG's, holla at bankroll and bring yeah. Lisa Band. Yeah. Don't be cheap. Mm-hmm. Don't right. let them touch your ear because they're 200 coming out. If you work at Amazon, <laughs> bring 500. It's okay. We know. Yeah, yeah we ain't yeah. tripping. Don't check. discriminate. What is that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bring the bag for yeah. sure. Because when they give you that five back, you're going to get like 480 or some shit. Right. <laughs> they're gonna no, take, seriously. They're going to take about 30, 40. I want you to promote your business as well Um, uh, once again. Uh, Lyrics Hair Studio is styled by Shuns on Instagram as well. I'm a badass hairstylist too. I don't play. You doing so the ladies, fake beards yet? Y'all need y'all heard Y'all doing the fake beards? <laughs> what the nigga did? They I'm got a, the little I'm, the, I'm a wibiologist for the ladies only. <laughs> okay. Hey, who, who's running the hairstyle game now? Is it men or women? Because I've been seeing like uh, the men pop that shit. Yeah, though. The men I I'm gonna give them pop that. that they shit. pop that shit. Yeah, yeah okay, they be doing but I don't know. Uh-huh. Sometimes you you they can't braid. I'm uh, on the I'm on the stylist that do everything. I don't have nobody to help or nothing like that. I do braids. I don't do braids. See, no, I keep a braid. I braid the foundations. Okay. Um. Yeah, I do bobs too. Y'all like bobs? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We fuck with bobs. Mm-hmm. Y'all we gotta follow with. me on Instagram. Get my Instagram. But yes, I'm really bad for real. For real, it's no play. There you go. There you go. All right, let's go and do it like this, man. Go and get some shout outs, man, for those that might be at home watching this. Uh, shout out your peoples. Okay. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to. Everybody that I love and my brother Big Spain. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. Shout out him. Hey, we got a song. Um, oh, I know this shit hard. P-House. Yeah, P-House. Though, so featuring yeah. the Stack Twins. Yeah. Y'all go get this on all it's platforms. all platforms. Man, tag us, man, so we can shout, uh, repost it. Yep, for sure. Yep. We just gonna shout out the whole mouth. You know what mm-hmm. yeah, if y'all, nice. if y'all fuck with that unlawful <laughs> behavior, mm-hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. People. Big unlawful yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Big Knopf Daddy. Yes, sir. I want to shout out to all my motherfucking haters. You hoes ain't shit. Okay. Okay. I heard and bitch, that. I'm on y'all next. I'll 2023. Yeah. Fuck you in, y'all niggas, bitch. Oh, damn. Yeah. damn. Damn. And I'm certified, Bring bitch. It. Welcome to uh, TV now. You hear me? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> shit. Yeah, there you go, man. You know what it is. And I love you, Deuce. Shout out, Deuce, man. Follow boy. Hey. Shout out, Deuce, man. Uh, don't watch this, please. Oh. Um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. With that being said, man, TV now is the network, man. Certified City Girls, the show, man, is coming down, man. We got him on the couch, man. Chosen Sean Trouble, y'all are some real life street stars. Salute that shit, huh? Hey, A class, A class. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Move. Hey.